most fine people, today's the day that we finally get the AC side, the sub panel installed for this solar project. And I was supposed to be the helper today, but he did bring the electrician, did bring another helper. So he's got two helpers today. So let's get this done. We have lift off. Hello, people. That's kind of freaky. Got big holes in the house, but it'll be covered up. What's up, Lily Bear? It's too hot out here. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, okay. Probably going to die right now. Come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ouch. Nope. You got it. DC truck, I'm not sure why you would need that tool, but you should get that tool. It looks pretty cool. Maybe I can borrow it sometime. Well, the sub panel's in the wall anyway. Your best doggy ever. Mm. All right, we're moving the circuit breakers over from the main to the sub. All the hot wires have been run and connected out into the load center. So this is really the last step, other than the cleanup. Home stretch. What a pretty clean neat panel. Nice job. Well, I ain't gonna lie, this is exciting stuff, but I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. But right now it's about 315. I'm bringing in about 2,900, 3,000, about three kilowatts, give or take. And the AC is hooked up. I hooked up the mate three this is going to end up inside at least that's the plan but in order for uh, in order to get this thing working i really had to uh, plug it in now so it's out here now i'm going through this, the setup wizard and trying to figure out how to work this thing uh, more complicated than i thought but then again everything in this project was way more complicated than i thought so we are going to uh, give it some time and figure it out but this is exciting guys i am it looks like I'm running off of solar right now. I can't be 100% sure, but I think that's the deal. No doubt there's a learning curve here, guys. I like that dollar sign there, and I'd like to see that bar lit up quite a bit more. I'm not sure what all this means, but I'm going to learn it, and I'm going to report back to you all how it's going. 
battery status is good and what else can I ask for right well it's the next morning now it's Sunday morning and you can see by that bar there you see the bar on the top right hand side that's got some black on it when it's on the right hand side and it's lit up like that means I'm selling power back to the power company so again I'm spinning the, spinning the meter backwards it's saying that I'm using none of the loads I have zero kilowatts that I'm using in the house right now Up 0.1 kilowatts but I'm about to change that because I don't want to sell power back to the grid I want to use the power that I create and I got to figure out how to program this thing to where I'm not selling power back I'm using it and if I can't use it meaning I'm producing more than I'm using the idea is that I want to dump it back into my hot water tank I guess instead of selling it back to the grid. I, I really want no interaction to, with the grid. If I got to buy power from them, that's one thing, but I don't want to sell it to them. It gets complicated. Okay, so I am producing roughly two kilowatts. Batteries are at 53.6. And so far today, I've generated 0.7 kilowatts. And it's still 9 a.m. or just before 9 a.m. So it's still early, but we're getting good stuff. Okay, gang, I'm not sure what the light situation is for you to be able to see this, but I want to show you this. So, what we just what we just did was we turned on the washer and the dishwasher, and we saw a difference in usage. So, our house usage, our power usage on the circuits that we have going through the sub-panel and the inverter and the load center and all that good stuff through the solar system, um, we are now using half a kilowatt of power. And we're still selling back 0.7 kilowatts, and we'll see that change as these, as the washer and the dishwasher cycle through whatever it is they do. The idea is that we want to make hay when the sun's shining. You know what I mean? So if it's sunny out, we're going to use that power. If it's not, we might hold off on using certain things, and that's the way that we're going to try to change our energy consumption. We'll get this thing figured out. It's still so doggone confusing. The batteries are already up to 57 point. Well, that just changed, but they were up to 57 point whatever. Okay, so you see that we're using 1.3 kilowatts of power right now. And we're buying 0 .0, 1 1.4 kilowatts, and you can see that that changes. This is what we're buying. The top line is what we're buying and what we're selling. If it's lit up over here, it's what we're buying. If it's lit up over here, it's what we're selling. This is what we're using. Interesting to watch, at least for me anyway, after this whole debacle, putting all this up. But this is the home stretch. I just gotta figure out how to work this doggone thing now. Okay, so it's about quarter after 12, so midday. You can see it's a, I'd say partly cloudy day. We got some big clouds that have been going past us here. But we're gonna just take a quick look and see what the production has been so far today and check it out when it's in its peak when this cloud is out of the way and we're getting full sun. So right now with that cloud overhead, we'll zoom in here and check this out. We're only producing a 560 watts. But we've already produced almost six kilowatts of power. And like I said, it's just afternoon here and we've had quite a few clouds come over. So let's wait and see what the peak is here when we have clear sailing, full sun. And this is what the system looks like with the covers on, much cleaner. I still don't have everything where I want it. I still don't know what the heck I'm doing or how to run this thing, but I'll give you an overview. Uh, well, we're humming along here. I've seen it as high as 36, 37. 100 watts so we'll call it 3.7 kilowatts on the high end bulk charging let's look over here on the mate which again will be inside so the mate we're using 2.9 kilowatts inside the house we're selling back to the grid 0 0.1 0 0.2 kilowatts so I'm guessing the differential between the two is going into the batteries that's my guess So not bad guys again I'm not sure what it all means I'm gonna figure it all out I hope and again I'll keep you all apprised of what's going on